Hello and welcome to this next Blender tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to have a look at smoothing or polygon smoothing. So let me just uh, add in a, a primitive here. So I'll add in a sphere. So when I add in the sphere it comes in what they call flat shaded um, which is great for things with lots of right angles and very harsh angles but not so great for say a sphere. So what you might do here is right click and shade smooth and you know you get a nice smooth kind of object um, you get the fasting at the edge and there's nothing much you can do about that beyond subdividing but you know we're going on a low poly principle so we're probably not going to be subdividing this so this is a good you know compromise way of uh, you know doing it so that's great and you know providing you're only using you know smooth um, a smoothed out organic model you know put smoothing on job done you know go on to the next thing but if you've got a uh, a mix between organic and say hard edged then you might want to be a bit more focused so let's uh, just do that uh, I'm gonna turn back to flat shading Go into the front mode and uh, go into edit mode. Oops, that's object mode. Let's go to X ray. I'm just going to delete the bottom of this. If I, I'm actually in edit mode. Come on, John. What's going on? There we go. So I'll select the bottom and delete those faces with the delete key. And then in edge mode, I'm just going to extrude these down with an E, uh, constrain with a Z, so it just goes straight down, and then F to fill the bottom, and then taking it out of X ray mode back to poly mode, Alt click to select that loop, and then I want to extrude along normal just to bring that out. So if I now go and uh, set this in shading mode so back to object right click and smooth shaded it doesn't look great because you know not all of the angles need to be shaded at this point in time uh, there is an option down here uh, under the uh, properties here object data properties under normals of auto smooth and if you turn that on it's a bit more of an intelligent smoothing so you know the the dome is smooth because the angles uh, in there are you know not greater or uh, less than 30 and these ones aren't these ones are hard because you know the angles are smaller or than 30 uh, so if I change this to say 90 degrees you see everything smooths and if I sort of changed it down to say 10 degrees, nothing smooth. So there's a kind of sweet spot and it might depend upon your model, which one you use. Uh, but there is a, an even more, um, you know, or a, another option rather, and that's to individually shade them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn auto smooth off and put it into flat again, and then go into uh, edit mode with tab and now I can define which of these polygons are smooth and which aren't so if I sort of select over the top there and then control plus to increase my selection that's control plus on the numpad um, I can go to the face mode uh, menu here and smooth it so that smooths that part and everything else is not um, these around here I would want to be smoothed so I would select those go to the uh, face menu and shade smooth and now you know we've got somewhere in the middle so there are some issues with this way um, in but you know they are fixable if you go to these edges here between the shaded between the smoothed groups as it were the ones that are flat and the ones that are smooth we could put a little bevel in here so control B and say I'll put a two millimeter bevel in you'll see that that clears up that uh, 
face issue we had there because it, instead of having a very sharp kind of transition of two polygons we have two polygons with a couple of polygons in between which is just changing the angle enough to stop that um, that artifact so let me just undo that control Z that's what it looks like without we've got a few kind of oddities nothing too obvious but it, it looks wrong to me in my mind anyway uh, so control B I'll put that two millimeter bevel back in did that work no two millimeter there we go and now it looks you know a bit more like it so you know there's no hard and fast kind of rule on it um, it's a question of what it looks like what you want it to look like and then deciding on where you want to shade and where not you know can you do it with just putting shading on and then using the normal auto smooth you know if you can do it fine brilliant if you need a little bit more control then you can go into edit mode and shade individually and then you know depending upon how it looks you could perhaps use a bevel or two to just change the angles uh, let me put a bevel around this edge so control b and then two millimeters and you know that tightened up and looks better i think if i undo you see it looks quite weird and uh, harsh and if i put the bevel back in oops not that much two millimeters it you know makes it less harsh shall we say just eases the transition between hard and smoothed um, polygons let's do the bottom control B let's pop in a little one there two millimeters there we go and that's even better so if I undo that one see we've got this sort of weird grayness going on on the edge uh, but if I then put the bevel back in again that's gone it's just shading smooth and nicely so it's a, you know as with everything it's a bit of a toss-up you know but those are some methods you can use to take your really low poly mesh and make it as, as good as you can okay so i hope you found that useful if you have any questions please ask me in the uh, in the comments below and i'll talk to you again in another session